city of Springfield has now spent tens of thousands of taxpayer dollars trying to unseat city councilwoman Christy Fulnecki and will likely spend many thousands more. KY3 Dustin Hodges spoke with Fulnecki tonight and the attorney hired by the city council and has both sides. On November 24th, the Springfield City Council held a closed session meeting at which they discussed whether or not City Councilwoman Christy Fulnecki could remain on the council after she was declared ineligible for owing taxes, a debt she has since paid and her eligibility reinstated. Fulnecki says she wasn't invited to the meeting and that the meeting should have been made open to the public. The way that we always go into closed session is that we have an open meeting and then someone reads a motion to go into closed session. It's to let the council members know, to let any of the public know that we're going into closed session. So you always make a motion. There was no motion ever made. Fulnecki showed up to the meeting anyway and recorded part of it something the attorney for the city council says violates Missouri's sunshine law. We established by her own admission that each of the alleged violations of the code of conduct in fact occurred and she did it. Which attorney Kevin O'Keefe says forced the city council to act. I don't think the city council had any choice but to say if we're going to have codes of conduct and someone violates it right smack dab in front of us, uh, we have to go through the process that the code requires in order to sort that out or we would be breaching faith with the people of Springfield. But after spending more than 40,000 taxpayer dollars and several weeks on litigation, Fulnecki says it's time for the council to move on and start spending taxpayer money on better things. To have high crime and people in poverty in Springfield and not be able to address those issues because we're spending money on a political witch hunt, that's just wrong. Dustin Hodges, KY3 News. And the hearings will continue in city council chambers on Friday of this week. Fulnecki says she plans to run for mayor next year.